I'm Pastor George Borkar, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. How forgiving is Jesus? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications. Did you hear something? He's asleep. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift, right there, helps us, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us rolling. So, how forgiving is Jesus? I did this video, uh, it's late because I imagine this, I... What kind of craziness is that? Drives me bonkers sometimes how absent-minded I am. Now, the important thing here is how forgiving is Jesus? I stumbled, I, I, as I was reading the Bible study, uh, the daily Bible study, I stumbled upon this verse, which we normally don't pay attention to because we are so stressed about the back end of the verse. But the front end of the verse is very important. This is Matthew 12, verse 32. Whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever speaks a word against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or the age to come. Now, what normally happens is we read the back end of that verse, we stress out. Blasphemy of the Holy Spirit! What are we going to do? Well, I suggest watching this video on the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. You know, that guy is a little chubby. He's a, young, he's a young pup, but he's a little chubby. Um, that's, that's me like five years ago. I don't know. Uh, so worry about that for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. But the front end of this verse is maximum comfort. Jesus forgives all sin. This is so very important. All sins are forgiven in Jesus. All sins, not some sins, not a few sins, not our, not the good sins, uh, like the, the white lies, but the big sins, all sins are forgiven by the suffering and death of Jesus. This is, this is in the verse before, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people. It's right there. Every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people. In Jesus, in the forgiveness, in, in his suffering and death, he has won forgiveness for all people. Every sin is forgiven in him. Step outside of him, reject him, don't believe in him, you pay the price for your sins. But in Jesus, in his forgiveness, in his mercy, every sin, every sin, and the rock means every sin is forgiven in him. Your big sins are forgiven in him. Your little sins are forgiven in him. Your ginormous sins are forgiven in him. And the ones that you um, don't think are anything are forgiven in him. They're all forgiven in the suffering and death of Jesus. He was crucified for our sins. He was raised for our justification, our forgiveness. So you're saying the people who just sin and they'll get forgiveness afterwards? You know, that's what you think. That's what you want to do. That's how you want to live. You want to get forgiveness afterwards uh, for sins, um, doing them to get forgiveness afterwards. But a lot of people are petrified, terrified, scaredified by their sins, and they want remission of sins. They want forgiveness for them. They stay up at night worrying about what they've done. And to those people, not to the Pharisees, but to those people, Jesus has forgiveness of sins. Oh, wait, he has forgiveness for the Pharisees too. That's how forgiving he is. That's how merciful he is. That's how unbelievable he is of a savior. All sins are forgiven. What about this blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? Well, I'm going to give you a hint. That is the rejection of him. But you can also go to that video, young pup there, 
young chubby pup. Um, and you can see what that means. The only sin which isn't forgiven is the one that is the one that rejects his forgiveness, that puts ourselves outside of our, his forgiveness. What ultimately damns is the rejection of Jesus. But you're not rejecting Jesus. You are coming to him for forgiveness, coming to him for mercy. And he has that in spades. And I don't even know what that expression means. So to recount, to review, all sins will be forgiven. All sins in Jesus. Every blasphemy and word spoken against Jesus will be forgiven. It's as sure as his suffering and death. Happy Easter, a blessed um, uh, quarantine. I'm Pastor George Borkart and the Sleeping Pooch. And this has been another Higher Things video short.